What you wear is important. You need to look smart and professional, but not too noticeable. I always use a pink lipstick, never red, and subtle makeup with my hair down, well brushed. You must look for a large group, the larger the better. Watch from a distance to see that there is some lack of organisation and a relaxed approach to the order of events. More formal, organised parties will not work. I often take a discreet photograph of the group at this early time to keep in my album and look at on long winter nights. I've begun my second album and the photographs remind me of good practice and the most memorable occasions. It's easy to be seduced, but discipline is called for to avoid overindulgence. In some of my first experiences, my timing was wrong and I was pursued. Once, losing a Gucci shoe at Paddington. But I learnt self-control and the need for detachment, knowing I can savour the moment at home later. I recommend railway stations, Waterloo, King's Cross, and especially Liverpool Street with the Stansted Express. Here it's easy to see when the moment is right and most of the groups will be going to the airport. About 10 minutes before departure, I make my move, joining as one of the latecomers. The first will embrace more meaningfully, generally a leader of the host and an official from the visitors. Others will follow quite quickly, gradually embracing all those around them, becoming more emotional and vulnerable, not wanting to be left out. This is the moment. You must move quickly, mingling in with the host group and smile as you approach the first embrace. Be quick, but enjoy the embrace before you pass on to the next person. I never kiss, as it's over familiar and could jeopardize your position. They will be happy to embrace, accepting that they do not recognise you, presuming you are someone working behind the scenes, as anxious as you about the farewell and proper etiquette. Their generosity can be touching as well as moving. After a few embraces, it is best to make an excuse and depart as quickly as you came, before they have time to confer about your identity. When you hold someone, I think you hold a little bit of them forever. You hold their past and their future, and by the way they embrace you, they reveal their vulnerability and their strength. This makes me feel warm, part of something bigger. For me, it is only natural to need some physical contact with other humans, and this method has no complications. A woman in my position finds it reassuring, while I hope it brings some comfort to them. My London flat is well positioned for the stations and even though I'm getting older, I still set out once a week to be embraced.